Artificial intelligence is the future, but how good is it really? In this episode, we're going to see if artificial intelligence and ChatGPT can create a game from scratch in Unity. The rules of this challenge are this. I can't use online coding tutorials or documentation. I can't use paid or free assets. And all I'm allowed to do is ask ChatGPT for help. That's it. Let's get into the video. I started by telling it this. I want to create a 2D game in Unity. It is based off Flappy Bird and will have the same mechanics. I want the graphics to be simple squares using only inbuilt Unity images as obstacles and as the player. Tell me how. Let's see what it can do. It generated a lot of content. And as this challenge is me creating a game entirely with artificial intelligence, I will be following these instructions closely. According to this, the first thing I needed to do was set up a new 2D project in the Unity Hub. You probably don't care about that, so I'll do that by myself. Next it says create the game object. I didn't want to create any assets, so I asked it to make all of the game assets with inbuilt Unity features. I mentioned the raw image. I'm not overly familiar with Unity 2D, so please do let me know in the comments what you've been making with Unity 2D. We'll also add Rigid Body and Box Collider 2D components to our obstacle objects and our player. At this point, well, I was confused. The solution I found was simple, but as someone who has never made a Unity 2D game before, I was getting rather stressed. I ended up having to go into Photoshop to create a player, when in fact, all I needed to do was create a raw image and store it as a prefab, as ChatGPT had told me to do. After a while, I worked it out. I created a red player, a white background, and the obstacles that would be black. As you can see, the Rigid Body 2D gave it gravity, so it fell out of the screen. Next, I needed to create a basic mechanic where the player could press the space button to go up, and the player won't move forward, but the obstacles will. So I asked ChatGPT to make me a script that would move the player upwards when the space bar was pressed. I copy and pasted in the code. Sure enough, it worked. Only thing is, the obstacles are not moving towards the player, so that's the next thing that needs to be done. So, what did I do next? You guessed it, asked ChatGPT to write me the script. Once again, it worked. I was left wondering why the collisions weren't happening. I eventually found out I hadn't ticked that is trigger button on the obstacle, so the on collision method couldn't run. With that all working, I wanted to get the obstacles to randomly spawn, like how they do in Flappy Bird. Again, I asked ChatGPT. But no, they're not sticking to the top and bottom. I went back, told it how disgraceful it was, and again it obeyed, giving me another script to plug into my game. So, with the basic game mechanics finished, I wanted to create a score in the top left hand corner. From here, well, it went catastrophically wrong, and unfortunately, it began to forget the conversation I had had with it previously. I guess you could say it lost its generative touch. So can you create a game with AI? Yes, but not completely. Free or free to use it to aid scripts, but I think you're going to need programming skills for the foreseeable future. These videos take a lot of effort and work, so please hit that subscribe button and the like button if you want to see more content like this. See you in the next episode!